Ah, uh, good. Everything works now. Good evening, ladies and germs. My name is Mr. Slash Mrs. Lawler Hicks, and I will be your host on tonight's episode of Lost of the Lost Time Show. A lot later than usual, and also I understand that typically we play indie games on Mondays and FPS games on Fridays. You know, in between playing the fighting games. We will be doing neither of those, or following neither of those schedules, because my schedule has lately been all over the place. I've been kind of in a rut, and I've just been doing whatever. And for tonight's excursion, I had the choice of either playing or trying out XCOM Armageddon for some shits and giggles and nostalgia. Probably, probably name some of the troopers and characters after my lovely followers. Or... I could pick, try out one of these indie FPS games. Yes, another boomer shooter. This one called Nightmare Reaper, which is itself a roguelike game, I believe. Um, it's a lo considered a looter shooter, which is very interesting for a uh, FPS boomer, uh, boomer shooter style looking game. So as you may imagine, I am interested to find out what it's like. When I started off the intro, it didn't start off start us off in a menu like it usually does. Instead, it started us off straight in the game. And to give you some context for what just happened so far, um, the first thing that happened was I heard a voice that said something along the lines of "Get up." So we're just going to dive right in. I've never played this game before. This is my first time running it. I'm liking already the fact that since this is essentially a Doom mod, I think it is, or at least. Do GZ Doom based maybe? I'll have to look into the specs later. Um, that basically ex partially explains why there is no trouble just booting us up. Not even doing that much on the processor level there either. So without further ado, let us get started. I heard a voice, but there's no one here. Is that a fucking Minecraft trapdoor block? Oh, it's a pressure plate. Okay, that's not too bad. A hey, steel. What sorcery is this? That's a good question. We're going to find out soon enough. This is a uh, boomer shooter styled, apparently, roguelite looter shooter game. Yeah, that sounds like such a word salad, but we're going to find out for ourselves what this involves soon enough. Cool, I can kick people. That's very important. The fuck? Ooh, a knife. <laughs> That's not a knife. This is a knife. And it looks like I threw the knife too. Looks like I have infinite ammunition for throwing the knives. Kinda reminds me of uh, some other games I've played before in the recent past. Uh, kind of reminds me of Project Warlock. Somehow I've managed to also click out the game, which is unfortunate. Now, where to go next? Huh? Where's the running in this game? Where's the sprint? I can't believe I was able to clear that. Hmm. Games like this feel weird without the ability to sprint, to be honest. Looks like we get to fight our first enemy, boys. Uh Bruh. Oh, that's not freaky looking at all. Oh my god, you can actually decapitate them. Interesting. Try not to think too hard about the fact that I just slit a bunch of girls' throats.
Next weapon, huh? Don't have any other weapons though. I love her. I love the explosions there with the gibbing. And her laugh just now was sick. It's been a while since I played an FPS like this before on stream. Kind of miss it. Ow. Fellow in the legend, welcome to the stream. This is a great time for you to visit too. This game is probably right off your alley. I am, as of yet, not sure whether I am the villain or the villain people I am fight of the demons I'm fighting are the villains. One thing's for sure: I will be sure to rip and tear until they are done. Once I can just figure out how to cross this fucking. There we go. How you doing tonight? <laughs> uh. Should probably try that ultra kill sometime too. Only problem is I'm garbage at ultra kill. That's why I've been avoiding it. Oh. I see. A simple uh plate puzzle. Chilling like a villain lows. Indeed, did you play heat on? I have played head on or head on. Uh, I've not completed it, and I first picked it up when it was still, I think, a beta. So it's probably, I don't think, so I've definitely not played all the way through yet. I would consider playing that game again, and especially on stream. It's just that it did get tedious at parts. Well, I guess the same could be said of all Doom likes. It's one of those things you just sort of get used to. Like, I've never been good about looking for and finding secrets in games, for example. I guess I won't really have that problem in this game because this is a roguelike, so it's not like you can just find look for secrets in the same place. Or look up like player's guides or whatever. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I love guns. Must be a grenade launcher then. Can I only hold two weapons at the same time? Cringe. This has a hundred bullets. There's a silencer in it too. For silent takedowns. So why should I bother eating it then? I guess I should at least get used to the guns, right? Ah, what a waste of ammunition. You always want to save stuff like that for, like, bosses and shit, right? Offender. Five-person combo. A problem with Project Warlock was secrets felt mandatory for how many supplies they had in them. Yeah, that's true. At least in Doom 2 is full of bullshit secrets you'll never find, but you can beat it just fine. That's very true. In fact, real talk, I've always been garbage about finding secrets in the Doom games, so I almost never did, except for the ones that are, like, dumb levels of obvious. Project Warlock, however, you kind of need to because of the fact- because you have limited lives, right? And once you use up those lives, it's game over. That's part of the reason I never came back when- I didn't really go back to it, because I played a game for so long, I literally forgot that that was a mechanic. So, when you guys saw me permadie at one stream, way back when, I was like, fuck, there, well, there goes a really long save. On top of that, I actually kickstarted the Project Warlock 2 game, and they were supposed to give me a beta key for it, and I don't know where the fuck that went. So, I'll need to contact them about that, because I sure as hell don't want to buy the game a second time. They're supposed to be sending me a bunch of Kickstarter backer shit anyway, like, um, you know, a plushie and all that. So, uh, I rather would just wait for the physical version to come over. Dude is actually really well done for how silly the concept is. Uh, what's dude? Day of the Damned? Wait, no, that's D-O- that's D-O-T-D. So I'm curious if this is still 
the roguelike mode of the game or if we're in a tutorial section. Doom, but every map is cut in half and mirrored. Oh, dude, as in, as in like, do, as in a pun. I thought it was an acronym. My bad. I'm really surprised this game doesn't let you sprint, or at least if there's a sprint option, I've not figured it out yet. But uh oh shit oh shit what's happening we're being attacked by something something is pissed destroy the trap orb how the fuck am i supposed to all right it's been destroyed okay that's the this is becoming a problem i'm like clicking out of the game Somehow. Uh, but some maps had to be reworked so the mirror is navigatable. Oh, I see. So, this is probably borderless, right? Well, let's put it to full screen since it keeps insisting on clicking me out of the screen. Epic. 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 No V-Sync. No, no blue, no motion blur. Oh, oh, wow, there's a noticeable difference. Uh, processor usage hasn't gone up that much, nor has my graphics card. Graphics cards are running around 2% load. They bloodied my nose, those bastards. Also, I really don't want to waste all my fucking explosive ammunition again like that. Let's switch to the gun. Spooky. I guess this is the teleporter thing that, like, tra that actually like starts the game proper, right? Yeah, it figures. Oh, so there are secrets in this game. What the hell? Choose one weapon, level one level one weapon to keep the gun. Oh, did it not let me keep the knife? Oh my god, that, that was dumb. I had been anticipating the first meeting with the patient with a blend of doubt and excitement. What had I gotten myself into? That's actually really nice shadowing too. Nice day outside. I decided to go to bed. For some reason, because I didn't realize that there was an option, huh? No? Oh? Interesting. So we went to bed, and now we appear to be on the first level. I just realized I didn't keep my knives. Fuck, I am dumb. Oh well. You can't run. But will you be able to hide? Oh, Nightmare Reaper. Uh... Oh, is that... The, you think that's the reason why it's called Nightmare Reaper? I guess we're gonna find out, huh? Oh, a speed boost? Horse water. Uh, money. Ooh, double barrel shotgun and a bunch of achievements, too. Is 
Is this a super shoddy? What is this kickback? And what are these things? Am I supposed to be hitting these things? Hmm. Don't know what's going on there, but I'll take it. It's uh, fire traps. I really wish I could into shotgun. I could into sprint. I don't know why I flinched when I pressed the shotgun just now, but that was certainly a thing that occurred. Probably should stick with the pistol and use the shot save the shotgun for meteor enemies. What the hell are these things anyway? Is that a giant dildo? Obtain V, whatever that means. Old man? The fuck does that mean? Oh, everything is slow motion. Cool. Hog. There's a uh, ghostly doctor person here. Sell the pistol? No. Oh, so you could sell shit to him, and this must be a teleporter. Ostensible, probably to go to the next location. Well, let's not leave just yet. Let's go uh, explore those areas that I had ignored. Really wish I could sprint, guys. That'd be so convenient right now. Damn, you had a lot of gold on you. Just waiting for someone to pop in and be like, wow, Minecraft, or oh, what Minecraft mods are you using? Doesn't seem to be anything here though. As far as I could tell. Huh? So I could destroy that, but nothing pops out of it. Well, this area is disappointing. It's just like a fortune cookie I picked up once that said, sometimes a fortune cookie, fortune cookie contains no fortune. Like, can I cross that gap? But I can't sprint, so what the fuck did they expect me to do? I don't want there to be like... Is there a freaking... Dash? Left shift. So there is a dash, but I don't seem to have access to dash right now, so... Oh, fuck. That felt good. Aside from the clerk combo, doesn't seem to be much here. Oh shit! Felt like I was gonna fall to my death there for a second. Let's see what's over here now. Ow, 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 shit, ow, 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 ow. Okay, okay, I'm burning, I'm burning to death, okay, cool. God damn. Oh, it's shiny. Is that a crowbar? No. Well, I think we found a new secret to chat. Okay. 
that turns that off. I like how my gun has become bloody as well. Shuriken, okay. A Molotov cocktail, rare. I forgot this was supposed to be a looter shooter. Hey, Spirit of Eric, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> That's cute. I guess it doesn't run out of, uh... What the fuck was that? <laughs> That's actually really cool, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants? Uh, unfortunately I cannot play SpongeBob SquarePants in this game, otherwise I would. I probably should disable that redeem, huh? Uh, remind me to refund you that redeem after stream is over. Otherwise, how are you doing today? Thank you for the Hydra redeem, Vimboy. No refunds? Well, if you say so. Unfortunately, I don't have any sponge-based games right now. You're going to keep that SpongeBob just in case of emergency? Alright. I will keep that in mind then. Thank you for the redeem. I'm actually fairly good at remembering small details like this, believe it or not. Like, for example, I know that one of my VTuber friends still... I still owe one of my VTuber friends a reading. Hype, 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 hype. <laughs> yes, indeed. I like your enthusiasm. I love how these weapons apparently don't require ammunition because... Oh, wait, I'm wasting my ammunition, damn it. I feel dumb now. <laughs> oh well. Thank you for the headpats. So I think we have explored as much as we can of this area. Let's go ahead and head through the portal. Can I get this money as well? Get refunded, nerd. <laughs> VTubers are aliens? Oh, we're more than just aliens. I myself am a malicious AI. What are you gonna do about... It? I'm contacting the NSA as we speak. Y'all still have the NSA back, then, or back here at this time period, right? Uh, wait, how are you, how are you able to redeem the, oh, because Steel refunded it already, okay, I was gonna say, you haven't been here that long, unless you have and you've just been lurking, so I was confused how you had so many redeems already, alright, so what am I gonna sell here, no, sell most used weapon for 1,100 Monies? Yeah, I could do that. Fuck it. I can has money. Not like I don't have a bunch of other crazy weapons to choose from anyway. Apparently, I missed two secrets in this game already. What the shit? Alright. Now I need to choose a weapon to keep with me. Hmm. Do I keep the rare Molotov cocktail, which I only have one weapon left for? Or do I keep the sawed-off shotgun? You can't find the refund menu in bad Twitch? It's okay. Um, I thought the refund menu was kind of shoved... I'm pretty sure the refund menu is actually in the... Uh... You know what? Now I have to look this up too. It's been a while since I've had to do anything like that. Shit, I'm a terrible VTuber. Um, you found it? Okay. <laughs> it's been a while since I had to refund anyone, stuff like that, so. Alright, I'm keeping my shotgun. Left panel, the circle with a tick is reward request switching. Oh, it uh, would appear that we've woken up back in the hospital. Uh, looks like some time has passed because there's, the, uh, bookshelf is all fucked up. The mirror is broken. 
There appears to be cracks and shit all over the walls. There's someone making no or making funny uh, screaming noises elsewhere, and this window is fucked up, and there's now additional lore. The previous physician had failed to improve the patient's condition and had managed to get rid of her for dubious reasons. <laughs> oh, this game was only made by a few people. That's cool. I wonder if Rose of Jones is just referencing I Dem Divine Cyromancy or if they used to be a dev for them. We still cannot escape. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see a shadow in the corner. Did someone escape? Thank you. Well, time to go back to bed. Let's see what Mike Mayors we see this time. Hollow Stone Part 2. Aha, I found a secret chat. The game doesn't tell you that you found secrets either, I noticed. I guess it's just sort of assumed that, oh, you probably weren't supposed to find that. That's really good water. Oh, shit, it's a sawed-off shotgun with only two barrels. I forgot that. That's kind of important to remember. That's a big ass zo our zombie soldier person. Ow. Shit, man. How much damage do you do? God damn. Oh, that's why. This game looks very jank. But the cute little particles floating around make it feel nice. And confusion. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of um, a lot of Doom clones, a lot of Doom likes, they like even though they keep the whole aesthetic, uh, the whole uh, pixelated aesthetic, they still allow themselves to do some fancy sh particle shit, which adds a nice little 3D layer to an otherwise 2D gameplay. Also, you know, this is my problem with a lot of so-called looter shooters. I feel like a lot of them basically have the same gun that's just been copy and pasted with different colors, right? But I like it when a game really takes the makes the effort, extended efforts to make several different unique weapons which work differently from each other. Like this thing. Whatever the hell this thing is. Uh, an evil book. We need Ray Trace Doom Clone with a heavy focus on audio. Actually, it's funny that you mentioned that. There are a bunch of Doom games which aren't really FPS shooter as shooters in a typical sense. They're closer to horror games. They're more like Alien Isolation. And at least one of them it does a lot of ray chasing shit because of all of its heavy reliance on audio design and shadows and playing with lights. There's a few games like there's actually a couple games like that. Um one of them is called Cry of Fear, I believe. I've been meaning to play horror games again on this channel anyway. Gear score? What do you mean gear score? Oh, yeah. I, I fucking hate the concept of gear score. It just... It's just... I don't know. I don't... I've had a bad experience with games that have gear score mechanics, and I... I don't know. To be fair, you know, I did mention before I don't like Borderlands. I just I couldn't play. I couldn't finish. I couldn't finish the game, so it was too boring. But um, I don't know. I'm not against looter shooters in general. It's just that particular looter shooter I didn't enjoy at the time. I mean, I liked Destiny, but to be fair, by the time I started trying out Destiny 2, they kind of futzed around with the gear score stuff anyway. Borderlands is a maze balls. I probably should probably 
I'm wondering, I want to try Borderlands 2, but I want to be Borderlands 1 first before I do so. Am I winning? Um, well, I'm still at 100 health, so I'm going to assume I am win currently winning. Welcome to the stream, by the way, Bunger Rider. The same gun copy-pasted 700 times, yep. <laughs> but like most looting games these days, best in the group. You can play two without playing one. Yeah, I figured. And I have tried playing QR Borderlands 1 with a friend or so. It was less boring, for sure, that way. Or I had less chances to be bored, I should say. Ooh, another secret. Well, it looks like the alt attack on this uh, gun, quote unquote, doesn't do much. You can play. T yeah, I already read that. Okay. <laughs> Three was nice, but it just ran so bad. It was getting like 15 FPS on a 3090. That's really bad. What the fuck? I mean, from Gearbox, no less, it's kind of embarrassing, eh? Two is probably the best game in the genre. Besides that, I'm a pre sequel apologist. Yeah, well, about that. The pre-sequel stuff kind of tripped me up. After a while, I kind of tuned out, tuned out Gearbox games because I was like, this is, they're doing the Beth, I felt like they were doing the Bethesda thing where it's just reselling the same game several times. But feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. What the fuck is this room? Oh man, here comes the horde. <laughs> I love how she just giggles and laughs after she murders th murders people or discovers new loot. It's a nice little touch. We've actually found Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Chad, it's time to rip and tear. <laughs> uh, two was great. Rescue had played for only about 10 minutes. That frame rate thing sounds like some greasy Randy shit. <laughs> Damn right it is. Rohan is mine. Free sequel is definitely more of a two expansion than a standalone game, but the low gravity mechanics is my jam. Fresh meat. What other weapons do I have here? Uh, Hornet Queen. What the fuck? Bazooka. This is wild. <laughs> uh, is this is this bees? Yes. Not the bees. <laughs> uh, you can send issue click. Islander from TF2, more or less. Uh, consecrated, consecrated whip. Bruh, they've. This is fucking Castlevania. <laughs> I'm having too fun, much fun with this game already. Uh, poison stab is probably your basic ass. Hey guys, I'm playing Hexen now. Wow, the new Hexen looks great. <laughs> If any of you know what Hexen is, of course. Please, tell me I'm not dating myself. Alright, apparently I'm dating myself. Uh, let's get back to business. So we're gonna play with the chainsaw for a bit. More like sex in IEO? <gasps> This is a Doom Eternal reference, chat. <laughs> oh my god, did you see that? If I if I fucking chainsaw the wall, I fall down slower. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's time to rip and tear chat 
<laughs> Why is the chainsaw not breaking open this wooden barricade? My immersion is broken. I got the biggest smile on my face. <laughs> Hexen is so old I wasn't even able to get to run Windows Me because that was already too new. <laughs> yeah, Hexen is ancient. Hexen is just the fantasy version of Doom, more or less. The only reason I even remember Hexen and it's uh, the previous games in the same franchise is because I remember walking around a Sam's Club once and they had PCs in display and some of them had games loaded on them and one of them was Hexen and I played that for a little bit for a while before my parents came back to uh, acquire me. I still can't believe that the chainsaw has a chain grapple hook attached to it. So I could just do that. Is there a hidden room around here that I'm missing? You guys hear that, right? I had it in my father's pile of games along with Descent, Free Space, and Mist. Oh, you have all the good shit. Oh my god, Descent, Free Space, and Mist. I kind of want to get back into modding Descent, Free Space sometime. Or should say Free Space 2 is the game that had all the mods in it. Since my computer can now handle all those high texture pack type things. Hey, check it out. Now I can just cheese my way through this map. Or... Which is probably... It jet plane just as intended. Look at this shit. I didn't even take damage. <laughs> oh. oh, shiny spark book rare. Well, that was kind of boring. Descent Free Space has been remade and has a huge modding community, but I haven't been able to get to work yet. Ah, I see. So they're both being modded. That's cool. I thought it was just a second game that people liked modding. Plus, my hot house is broken. I need a new one. The stick was so old, the plastic has returned to its raw materials in liquid form. Rip. Oh, there it is. I was wondering where the exit was. Oh, wait. Why is it... Hmm. Oh, that was worth a shot. We must figure out where to go next, chat. Wait. There we go. Ooh. Oh my god. Sir, that was Sriracha sauce and it turned me into a Nightmare Reaper or something. Unfortunately, there's nothing to use this on, so I feel sad now. Oh wait, but... Oh, it's over already. Damn it. Ayo? What is that? Is that a game cartridge? It is a game cartridge. I thank you for the hydro redeem. Plastic lasts for millions of years. My stick looking like a chocolate egg left in the car on a sunny day after 15 years. I know, right? Mmm, microplastics. Thank you for the hydro redeem.
Skill tree. Okay, skill tree. Oh. We have to play a uh, Mario game to... A Mario minigame to acquire skills. I kind of like that, actually. That's really clever. So yeah, Chad, welcome to Nightmare Reaper. This is certainly a game of all time. Wait, what the shit? Why do I keep just... Oh, come on! That's fucking stupid. So am I just stuck here, or...? Oh, okay. <laughs> that was fucking dumb. I wonder if I should tell the devs about that, or if that's like intentional game design. Oh, I see. That was intentional. You're not supposed to go jump from over there. You're supposed to jump from over there. Okay. Damn it! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Pixel perfect jump, here we go. Yes! This is the real Jump King. I am the Jump King now. Pog. It's kind of cool that you actually have to do some minigames to unlock skills. I wonder if the minigames change. Because I can see I'm getting kind of old. So, that's how you increase walk speed, huh? Alright. Oh, what fresh hell is this? <laughs> That's sad, I won't be able to get all the gold there now, because of my complacency. And I won't be able to get those either, shit. Guess we'll have to settle for second rate. I'll not be fooled this time. Haha! -ha. No, damn it, game for... Fuck. Oh my god. Oh well. Platformers, man. I don't really need to open switch, do I? Max heavy ammo. Hmm. Oh? I'm surprised the game just let me have a treasure room for no apparent reason. very relaxing game. It kind of reminds me, it kind of looks like a Nintendo SD. A Nintendo, um, no, uh, what's the, what's the name of that Game Boy that was square and had a light in the back and kind of looked like this? I forget it. Nintendo... It was a kind of Game Boy. Special N N Nintendo Game Boy, Game Boy SD? I don't know. The only reason I even remember this, the SP, the SP, thank you. I remember the SP in particular, not only because of its unique shape and the fact that it was a foldable device, but there was a short time when all the phone companies tried to get into the uh, handheld market. 
And I remember this, uh, cringe, this guy, this, uh, really fucking, this kind of a tool, kind of looks like a tool, um, of a guy. I think he represented Nokia, and he was trying, he was talking about, I think, if not the N-Gage, was it the N-Gage? He was talking about what, he was trying to, uh, he was uh, doing an interview, and he was talking about one of his, um, this, one of his products, which was supposed to compete with Nintendo's Game Boy. And I distinctly remember him saying to the interviewer, the Nintendo SP is very cute, but it is like a child's toy compared to our product. Now, of course, no one remembers any of those products except for old people that either had them or read the marketing campaigns for them. And it feels like Nintendo is the only one who really does uh, handheld gaming much anymore. Because most handheld gaming is switched to phones these days. Woo! The Gizmondo. Was it the Gizmondo? Not the N-Gage, but, um, that's the one that looks like Goat Saint? Yeah, the N-Gage is one of the ones. There's actually, there was actually a few. The N-Gage was one of them. There is another one who's, I can't remember the name of. I just remember the ad campaign for it. And there was a really weird ad campaign where you had the product in the center of the, of the, of the poster. And they had a whole bunch of, like, uh, earbuds that were all going towards it. Um, it kind of looked like... It kind of looked like the device was an ovum and the earbuds were sperm. Because back then as a kid, I saw this ad and I thought, this is a weird ad. I don't understand why they arranged this stuff the way they did, but it's memorable. And then it's only years later that I thought, oh my god, this is supposed to be a sex, a sex reference, isn't it? So they had that, and then you had the Gizmondo or whatever, which is that weird bulky handheld thing that you could... Buy, subscri buy a subscription to get ads removed from your device. Yeah, it was really... Yeah, believe it or not, video games had built-in ads in them way before current year. And then you had the N-Gage, which looks like a fucking goatsy. Um, no advertising will ever surpass PS3, baby. Um, PS3 I didn't really pay attention to, so I don't remember any ads from them. Do you... Please, uh, share with the class. What were some memorable ads for the PS3? Does that say yay? That's so cute. Walk speed it is. Wait, we got walk speed. Uh, hmm. Yeah, give me more star life. Fuck it. PS3 baby is the ad though for PS3. I'll send it in Discord. What do you mean PS3 baby? Oh, are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh, good thing I have more than one life, apparently. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna keep doing this, huh? I'm getting some Mega Man flashbacks and not in a good way. Oh my fuck. This stream, Lulz just repeatedly dies to the same- I feel like DSP right now. <laughs> uh, can you imagine- I just realized something. What if DSP became a VTuber? <sighs> cursed or not cursed?
DSP being a VTuber would be a strict downgrade, to be honest. A downgrade from him being super toxic or a downgrade from his current content? I guess part of the appeal of watching DSP is watching his full range of expression when he rages. And you would definitely lose out on some level of that. Oh, I can actually up use my coins to upgrade the guns. I see. Well, I'm not going to do that until I get like legendary and epic level shit anyway. You mean we're only in the tutorial levels? Oh. Oh, so you can destroy these things after all. Choose one level one weapon to keep. Choices, choices, choices. Even though this thing is rare, I am compelled by memes to hold on to the chainsaw. It's not going to let me keep the chainsaw. Oh, it's level 2. God damn it. Keep the spark book, I guess, since it's the rarest one. Uh, do be raining outside, apparently. Those rain sound effects are fairly good, too, all things considered. It actually sounds like it's raining right now, right here, right now. The person that was over there is missing. However, the lights are flickering. I suspect that the patient was put into my care as some kind of last resort. The mirror is no longer broken. These do kind of feel like tutorial missions, don't they? I'm not really claustrophobic, except when I am. But I hate stages like this where you literally can't see anything and you just sort of have to feel around to get anywhere. Well, that's back ass words. The fuck? Oh, a flying enemy. Hog.
I'm completely out of ammunition. Now I'm not. But the point still stands. I need to be able to fight things without... Oh, wait. I can kick people. And now I have a flare gun? I like the flare gun. The popping noises this makes are kind of great, are actually kind of fun to listen to. Magic wand. Cool. Dude, dude, dude. It won't come out, kill a hundred enemies. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this game has a lot of charm. Oh shit. I'm actually dying. Let's fix that. Ow. Oh, what fresh hell is this? Oh, okay, those those uh those floating bird things have gold and shit. So I'm supposed to be killing them. Oops. Well. Nothing to do about that now, I guess. That's a grenade launcher? Seemed like a flare gun to me. Poison staff. Okay. Pump action. The regular shoddy, basically. <laughs> I'm burning for some reason. Why am I burning? Oh. I, I'm dumb. It's because of those things. Geronimo! My goodness. I miss this kind of gameplay. It's very relaxing once you get into like the focus. I say as like fucking blood and guts just explodes all around me. Cartoonish blood and guts, of course. There is a difference, you know. <laughs> oh, yes. Where to now, Kimosabe? There we go. I see you there, bitch.
I hate jumping puzzles so much. I hate jumping puzzles so much. I hate jumping puzzles so much. Well, yep. Well, yep. Fuck! Damn it! How am I still alive? Is there a way to get up there? I really wish I had my chainsaw right now. There's gotta be a way to get it back up there. Okay. Did I mention how much I hate jumping puzzles? Such a dumb mistake as well. Just fucking trying to get on the... Okay. Okay. Made it. Only took two tries. <laughs> What's this now? Semi-auto rifle? A garand. But a bayonet looks like. Cool. How do I get over there? Should I even bother trying to get over there? Can I can I actually run fast enough? Probably not from this distance. It would have to be over here. L Yoop! I can't believe I made that. <laughs> Now, how do I get out of here? Woo! There better not be a secret down there. I'm gonna be pissed. Okay. Nothing over there, it seems like. I probably have to get over there and back there. We made a chap in spite of our best efforts. <laughs> Sticky grenade. Oh my god, it is a Garand. It even makes the ping. I love it. I might just hold on to this gun the whole game until I can, like, upgrade it or something. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I'm dead. I'm fucking stupid. Wake up prematurely. That's apparently a thing that could happen. Oh, oops. That was my first death, and it's because I got a little too careless uh, using the Garand. I feel bad now. It looks like the game didn't progress either. I had been anticipating. I had been anticipating the first, the previous. I. I. So I guess if we go back to sleep, it's going to restart the stage, maybe. Oh yeah, it did. Oh, and it looks way different too. So it is still roguelite-ish. After a fashion. 
I like that I kept my money and kept my health though. If I go this way, I can get increased the value of my monies, which is great early on. So I can make money a lot quicker and presumably get upgrades a lot quicker. That's my train of thought, anyway. Pog. Can I clear this? Yes. 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 The answer is yes. I was dumb and I could have gone up there and gotten more treasure. Oh well. Take out where we can get, I suppose. Let us continue. Who goes there? Civis, long time no see. Thank you for the 18 person raid. How are you doing this evening? What are we up to? Mods, can we please get a shout out for Civis? I'm much appreciated. Greetings and godly's blessings to you all. Oh, thank you. The Amnesa smiles upon your visit, as usual, as always. Hey, what, are you, what have you been up to? I will have to raid and fade society calls. I see. Well, have a great fade, as it were, and a great evening as well. I'll be sure to... In try and entertain your guests with my antics we are currently playing um a nightmare reaper i have never played this game before but it is as you can see a doom a doomer shooter a doomer boomer shooter but it's also a roguelite and also has a very horror-esque horror flavor although so far it's been less horrifying and more uh really playing up the whole um rip and tear aspect of games like this. I mean, it's just me. <laughs> Elf priestess from another world? Oh, that sounds fun. Thank you for the shout out, or for shouting them out. Steel? Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. So my name's Lawler Hicks. I'm a shit poster AI. I've kind of been in a rut lately, so I've just been streaming random games lately. But today I decided to get back to my FPS roots. And it looks like that was a good idea because it's been a while since I've blown off some steam. Literally by blowing heads off. That could have been lewd just now. That was not intentional, I swear. <laughs> Ow. Do 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 do. I guess I don't see anything up here anymore unless there's some secrets that I'm missing again. But I might have to descend to the ground. To the mortal plane. Someone's shooting at me. Where are you? Where are you? Bruh. Cringe. Cringe camper. Oh, there you are. I want to go down there and pick up whatever that is. Along with, you know, the golden stuff. Obtain Reflection. I.O. <laughs> uh, oh, two is always better than one chat. <laughs> oh, 
they ran out already. Hey Gil, how are you doing this evening? Thanks for your clip for redeeming gamer pride. Ooh, Sriracha sauce, chat. <laughs> uh, there's no one to use it on though. I'm sad. That's fine, I'll just blow up everything. Oh yeah? Make new rare version for a 1600? Oh, I have plenty of money to spend. Hello, hello. Welcome. Lols, have you seen any of the limited run games showcase? Yes. Uh, no, not recently. Why? What's up? <laughs> Ooh, knockback. Not bad. <laughs> any decent games? It's been a while since I bought some limited run stuff. Oh my goodness. I love the knockback on this thing. I'm so glad I upgraded my pistol. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! This is delicious! <laughs> All the combos! All the combos! <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh my god, this is beautiful. This is fucking glorious. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god. Tumba? Tumba? Excuse me? Tumba is an ancient ass game. What the fuck? Clock Tower and Gex? Man, all the old PlayStation games are coming back, huh? Wow. What's next? Silent Hill? Oh wait, Konami doesn't give a shit about making games anymore, do they? Hold up, I need to read this. Uh, they've announced a bunch of games this year, so a lot of cult classics and ironic stinkers. My fave so far is HD Ground Up Remake of Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. I don't even know what that game is, that's so old. <laughs> I still can't believe I that thing I exploded was basically like here. I'm gonna give you all the guns. Shurikens. And they are all rares too in a common chainsaw. Six shooter with burst fire. That's all, folks. Or is it? <laughs> Sniper rifle... Silent Hill is the worst example. There's literally a Silent Hill 2 remake that's been in the news for a while. Oh, okay. I was wrong then. So as well as a new SH. This is an explosive shotgun. Good thing I have a chainsaw. Ow, 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 shit, ow, 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 ow. And a uncommon bazooka. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wait, there's a new Silent Hill coming out? Really? That's news to me. Honestly, I'm surprised Konami even came back to game development. I thought they were, like, done. Like, done, done. I yo? Now, what changed in this room or in this uh, level? Oh, fuck fall damage in this game, man. I hope there's a skill I can reduce or remove that entirely. That's stupid. But lols, you just destroy utterly and utterly annihilated a whole bunch of enemies and got a bunch of guns for it. Yes, I'm aware, but still. Is this just a six shooter pistol? Nah. Choose one gun to keep with you. One weapon. Let's keep the pistol since I actually made quote unquote that pistol. Plus, complete hollow stone. I think I completed tutorial chat. I've been called unconventional by some and have a reputation of taking on these impossible cases. previous physician had failed to improve the patient's condition and had managed to get rid of her for dubious reasons. I suspect that the patient was put into my ca- I've been called- I've been called- We're still locked in here. No way out, man. No way out. Man, my hands are starting to hurt. I was remembering why I don't play fighting games with keyboard anymore. Got a lot of gold though. This game has a lot of charm. Even for a Doom clone. Ooh! Weapon slot. Yes! 
Are you fucking kidding me right now? Damn it. Oh shit. Guess I'll die. Get wrecked. Thanks for the lurk steal. Hog. My fucking god. This map must be a fucking troll. You are bullshitting me. Ow, ow, ow. How am I still alive? I was kind of just lit though, I'm not gonna lie. Ow, shit. What in the world is this? A plasma gun? Ow, shit. Cryobolter? Hmm. Interesting. But at least I got my chainsaw back. I still can't believe I survived that. It's kind of lit. I wonder if we're still playing tutorial or if this is like the game proper now. So that seemed kind of planned, right? Oh my god. Not this again. Alright, we gotta figure out where the trap thing is. Treasure. What the hell does that do? Oh, okay, it ends the map. All right. Get all the secrets in a level? Fog. Yes, I insist on keeping the pistol. <laughs> uh... I internalize this as a point of pride. So many modern practitioners have no passion for their work. What nightmare will we have this evening, chat? Spore Pit Part 2. Well, well, well.
Now I'm really starting to feel like this is just a violent, a mo violent mod from Minecraft of some kind. Or at least it gives me kind of those vibes. The whole glowing mushroom thing. <laughs> mushroom, mushroom. Well, this gun's garbage. What the fuck? That never gets old, though. Not gonna lie. Geronimo! Oh, yes. Chainsawed, bitches. Ow. That was rude. I wonder if there's anything worth going back down for there. I don't see anything. Are you? Is that a door? Huh? Is that a fucking... What is that? I am very confused. Well, it's not dying. I'm not being damaged. Looks like there's paint. And it almost looks like a shower head of some kind. Very strange. And this one's fun too. Geronimo! Oh my fuck. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, that was glorious. <laughs> oh, I love the chainsaw. I doubt it's anywhere near this useful in Eternal. If anything, Eternal kind of seemed a little bit stressful, didn't it? Something about having to rack up your combo meter to do to refuel the fuel in your uh, chainsaw and your guns and shit? I don't know. Now, where do we go next? I'm confused now. Hmm. Guess I'll have to do some digging. Oh, what the shit? God damn it. Who put that there anyway? This map is so confusing. I really hope I'm going the right way. Here we go.
What is that? Superposition rifle? What? I don't know what that was, but that was kind of cool. Oh, one of these. What is what the fuck was that? Wow, I love it. Unfortunately, I appear to have moved this out of the way. There we go. It appears that this gun fires at random, or something like that. Damn, son! This... I should probably look up what superposition actually means. Some sort of scientific term. But this is a glorious gun. Power boots. Do I dare ask? Trap puzzle box? <laughs> oh, glorious. That's interesting. That's literally traps, then. And literally a mop. Oh, hey, the mop actually cleans up the viscera and shit all over the place. That's cool. Or it did. Oh, now it's just make... I see, it cleaned up some of it, but now it's covered in gore. So it's just, like, putting blood all over the place. That's really a good attention to detail. What... Who thinks of stuff like that? Like, honestly. Still can't believe these are legit power boots. Okay. Or is this place is full of explosives, so maybe using the power boots is not the best idea. Huh? Equipping the power boots lets you use them as your kicking attack. Do I need to have them equipped, or can I just... Oh, okay, so they need to be equipped. So I could probably do stuff like... Oh my god, this is too powerful. This is too much power for one AI to have. Imagine if I had this in meat space outside of this video game. I would be unstoppable! It'll be our own little secret.
Bro, I just kicked these things to death. One shot, one kill. Glorious. I love how when you actually go through the water, it cleans up the viscera on your body as well. I wonder if it cleans up the mop. Okay. Oh, it does! My mop is all squeaky clean now. Oh, is that the end of the stage already? Nope. No, it is not. This randomly generated room put all the secrets at the very end. What the hell? Fenton? Get milk? Now, which one of these am I going to be keeping? Unfortunately, I can't bring the super position rifle with me. I'll need to keep the power boots. They're, t they're too good. Sorry, pistol. It's been good knowing you. Ah, someone's outside again. Looks like not much has changed outside either. Were these chairs here before? The first time I saw the patient, I must admit that I was unprepared. Seeing her in person was a different experience than seeing the pictures in her file. This is a long tutorial. Come to Papa. Groovy. What you got for me this time, buddy? Oh, you're gonna make me a new rare version of something? Cool. What to choose this time? How about a rare grenade launcher? Wait for it. Obtain a legendary weapon? Ooh. A level one legendary weapon, no less. With a 42% coin chance and 180% knockback. Well, that sounds right up my alley, chat. 
Ow. I did not mean to do that. I'm not gonna even lie about it. That was completely unintentional. Totally. No, utterly. It will happen again. And it'll be just as funny. My gut's telling me that I shouldn't go that way yet. Ragdolls. That's funny. Don't have the chainsaw yet, so I can't get... Oh! More chainsaw? Yes. Battle axis, it looks like. Ghost axis, in fact. Interesting. I don't know what makes some ghost axes, but. Eh. Good thing I had all that grenade ammo, damn. <laughs> the fuck was that? Don't know what that did, but it's dead now. Hmm. 
think we got everything. Maybe. More or less. Yeah, let's continue. Have I been here before? Nail gun. Fog. And a legendary chainsaw, no less. Almost. I wonder where I missed it. Shame I can't. Or should I bring the grenade launch, the advanced grenade launcher, with me? Choices, choices, and I am terrible at choices. I'll stick with the power boots because they don't need ammunition to use. Complete spore pit. Uh oh. The door is open. That's interesting. Sure looks dark and cheery outside. I would learn later that in this case, appearances were devilishly deceitful. Let us see what is outside. The exit is still locked. However, I picked up something from the ground. The other doors are locked. And I think I have just picked up a uh, key card of some kind on the ground. It is not, however, showing up in my inventory. How curious. I know I picked it up because it's not there anymore. make use of some of these monies. A boss? Did it you... Hmm... Curious. Oh, my God. It's 
some boss head and a being. But at least we can go to world 2 now. Plus 20 to max life. Or more ammo value. But as much money as I have, I can probably afford to use up all these, too, to make sure that I have ammunition moving forward. So I need to keep relying on melee weapons. But first, let's do this one. Damn it. How much gold that time? That's unfortunate. Another achievement unlocked. No! My god. Oh my god. Damn it. <laughs> Complete our ammunition now. Or money, I should say, not ammunition. Let me out! Let me out! On to the next level. Memortal Ruins, Part 1. Curious. <laughs>
I'm actually taking more damage from the explosive barrels I'm accidentally hitting than I am from the enemies. That's really saying something. Shotgun, get... Why am I still alive? Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna even question it at this point. Oh. Damn it, I finally died. What a death it was, though. Oh, that was the key to my own door, so I can leave now. I see. Give me a second here, chat. I need to take a short break here for a second. <sighs> Let's try it one more time. Immor Immortal Memorial Woods Part 1.
The fuck? A burst fire grenade launcher? Are you fucking serious right now? Oh my god. I'm gonna die again, aren't I? Ooh, it's getting rough now. That was splash damage that time. To be honest. The game's finally getting hard. Feels good, man. Once more. I know what's happening, but it sure seems to be helping. Still need another gun though. Gotta be able to shoot those buggers out of this air. But where to find? That's the real question. There we go. Hog. Ooh, cry blaster. What will happen if I reroll the staff value for this? I can't afford it though. That's unfortunate. It's obvious that this is supposed to be the doctor person. Perhaps entering the dream to offer us a boon of some kind? I wonder if you could shoot him. I see you there. Are you? What an interesting room.
bruh. Okay. I guess I can't take this game lightly anymore. It is also getting kind of late. I also try to relent with the excuses. Once more then. This is very addicting though. I don't feel the urge to, aside from fatigue and my back killing me, I don't really feel the urge to quit anytime soon. But let me go ahead and readjust things just a bit for comfortability's sake. Bring the keyboard up a little bit forward. There we go. Not sure if you heard the crack in my neck just now. It's been a while since I had to bring the keyboard forward like this. Mm. So I'm not like leaning forward or anything. Good old rocket launcher. Or in this case, a bazooka. Glorious. He is flying away, burning to death. Raining poison on top of me, though. Cringe. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a trap. It's a trap. I don't know how to turn off the trap. Whoop. Now nah, I did. Killing the enemy was the trap turner offer. Good. I still love the fact that the enemies actually ragdoll. That was bad. Jesus, my Christ, man. How many enemies are there? Lots of health, though. Ow. A rare wand? Hmm. A portrait of some kind? Are they fleeing? Are they actually running away from me? A legendary item, it seems like. 
A machine gun, legendary item. Pog. An impossible to control the machine gun legendary item. Oh, you actually get on the ground to use the LMG. Like an actual LMG. Yeah, it makes perfect sense, actually. level weapon oh it's just a okay man I love the guns in this game they're so expansive I mean come on who would have ever thought to put a pirate cannon a portable pirate cannon no less in this game or in any FPS game for that matter. Only a truly deranged person can discover this. A legendary? No. A cartridge. Topaz tree. Ayo? A legend of Zelda? I wonder if this is actually closer to a Pokemon parody than a Legend of Zelda parody.
my god, it is a Pokemon reference. Hmm. Straight up a Pokemon reference. Oh no, we're dying. to defeat trainers to use. I see. Sadly, that's not going to be happening anytime soon. I got him. I'm probably starting to fall asleep again. Enough for that for now. I'm starting to fade a little bit fast, so let's see how far we can get in this game before that occurs. Oh, this is actually the end of the level already, what the hell?
I must insist on keeping the power boots. My room is getting worse. She had been transferred to our establishment early one peaceful summer morning. I had, she had been... I would learn later that in this case, the first time I saw the patient, I must admit that I was unprepared. It's terrible. It's the first time this area has been lit up. Might be able to do one more level before I have to pass out. Let's get to it, gang. Flamethrower.
Sorry. Sorry to kind of pass out there for a second. It's getting to be that time, chap. No fucking way. I thought I had more health than that. Guess not. Did I try to escape again? Now there's blood on the mirror as well. <sighs> Dude, I'm starting to pass. We got to press on a little bit longer, chat. Just a little bit longer. Is this a legendary claymore? It is. Chainsaw time, so I am not playing this, playing around with this. Oh shit. That could have ended in failure. I feel like I'm in Metroid Prime a bit there.
Man, these things really do not do any damage, do they? Almost passed out for a second there. Let's hurry up and finish this mission so we can call the night chat. It's a weird phenomenon. When you don't get enough sleep, sometimes you can just literally pass out. Your brain just like shuts off. And right now I'm kind of lost, so that doesn't help. Unfortunately, if we look around, we should be able to... <sighs> using this handy dandy map. Oh, not this one. There we go again. My brain's starting to turn off. Suffering. What in the world is that? This entire area is entirely optional, isn't it? Pog. the money. No secrets though. Sag. Oh my god, I'm passing. I am falling apart.
Honestly, I should really keep the claimer. But I like my power boots so much. <sighs> I'll exchange the power boots if I ever find legendaries, I suppose. Lots of money, though. She was surrounded by several lawmen, and we first had to have a full staff meeting about safety when dealing with the patient. Can I manage to do another? Or am I going to pass out first? <sighs> 12 minutes. Oh my god. I'm getting too tired for this shit.
Oh my god, if I die from this fucking trap, I die to the fucking trap. Six minutes. Can do one more mission in six minutes, right? Let's try it. Wish me luck, chap. This will be our last run of the evening. So I am clearly uh, too sleepy to continue. I should probably do the smart thing and level up a bit. Oh my god. They really gonna do this? Yeah, I guess they will. Gotta get that Super Mario Brothers ex experience. God damn. Thunder outside and mm -hmm. Alright then, oh dashing. That's kind of important, I bet. You know, just a hunch. Wow. Wow. <sighs> That's pretty good. Time to unlock dashing. Once more with feeling. Oh my fucking god. Good. Jesus Christ. Oh my fucking god. Yes, there we go. Excellent. Poggers, if you will. Pog champ, if you prefer.
Is that a dog? Is that a dog? Oh, dog. Doggo, doggo. What's a dog doing here? I am completely awake now, thanks to this doggo. What is it, buddy? No, oh, thank you. I didn't realize there was a place here. To rip and tear. Oh my fuck. Another jumping puzzle. Oh, damn, what the shit? Dude, that was cringe. So much for that run, chap. Ah, oh, the lights are off. The, f the the lights are off. The lights are down. I had been it. Had it been just raining? No, it's raining in re in the meat space world as well as in game. It's gotta be. Oh well. Mystery to be solved for a later time, I suppose. Hey everyone, thank you very much for joining me for tonight's game of Nightmare Reaper. I hope you enjoyed it as well as I did. Let's go find someone to raid tonight, shall we? Monterey is playing Demonologist, which is fairly close to what we are playing just now. Let's go pay them a visit. Once again, thank you everyone for coming tonight. I'll try to stream on Friday, but no guarantees. However, we will be for sure streaming tomorrow and Thursday. We're going to be doing a Starship Trooper collab. It'll be earlier than usual, too. It's going to be around at 6 in the evening, my time. Central Standard. Bye-bye. Thank you.